let us revise the meninges this is the dura mater we have cut the skull and have removed the skull cap from here and we also have cut the dura mater into pieces outside the dura mater we can see the middle meningeal vessels these are the middle meningeal vessels they run between the skull bone and the dura mater in fractures of the skulls these vessels can get ruptured and result in extra dural hemorrhage so we have cut the dura and we reflect the dura we can see a fold of dura mater here this is called fox cerebri a sickle shaped fold that lies between two cerebral hemispheres one hemisphere was here and the other hemisphere was here we have removed the brain from this skull this is the convex attached border of fox cerebri it contains the superior sagittal sinus within and this is the concave inferior border of fox cerebri it contains inferior sagittal sinus this is the anterior end of fox cerebri which is attached to the crista galli here this is the posterior end of fox cerebri it is attached to the tentorium cerebelli this tent shaped fold here over the posterior cranial fossa is called tentorium cerebelli in the fox cerebri is attached to tentorium cerebelli and at that point of attachment we have the straight sinus here this is the tentorium cerebelli this is the free margin of tentorium cerebelli which forms tentorial notch and it holds the midbrain in place this is the attached margin of tentorium cerebelli the attached margin is attached to posterior clinoid process then to the lips of superior petrosal sulcus and to the lips of transverse sulcus here and this attached border contains superior petrosal sinus here and the transverse sinus here the point where tentorium cerebelli and the fox cerebri merge we have the straight sinus we have another small fold inside here this is called fox cerebelli because it lies between the two hemispheres of cerebellum in relation to that we have a sinus called occipital sinus then here we have a circular fold of dura mater covering the cella tarsica or pituitary fossa this is called diaphragma cellae and this diaphragma cellae has a hole in the middle through that the infundibulum of pituitary gland passes out this is the infundibulum of pituitary the pituitary gland is below the diaphragma cella this is the diaphragma cella this is a small circular fold of dura mater we can see the pituitary gland through the central aperture